hello guys and welcome to my youtube channel once again in today's video i want to quickly analyze a boom 500 with you guys so you can learn from what i'm gonna do as you can see i already analyzed the market and i want to clear this chart so that then we do it uh, we do it afresh because i want us to learn together so let me just clear my chart and then it going all together all right so the first thing we'll do is to go to a higher time frame Usually we go to the weekly time frame to check the movement of the market. You can see that um, the market is now bullish. There was a downtrend previously like this, which got broken and the market retested. You can see the market retested the... Uh, one moment, please. Came back and retested this level, then continued buying to the upside. All right, so I expect the market to be targeting somewhere here now because it's the current level in the market on the weekly time frame. So I expect the market to be targeting this particular level here, you know, on the weekly time frame. This is actually um, kind of a, a supply zone if you are trading an SMC or ICT, you know. All right, so what i really want to do on this time frame is just to mark out the key level so let me just look out for a key level that is close to the current price here now um, where should we put the key level then this should be one of the first places to place our key level in the market here is okay and uh, we need to put another one right here on the weekly time frame I think this is okay. That's a key resistance zone and a key level here. Why I'm putting this particular key level right here is because this is a market bought sold from here, sold from here, and also bought from here. That is why I've decided to place it there. And you can as well decide to place another key level around this region, but I have refused to do that because market is very far from that place. So it is none of my business to place anything right this it's not necessary to place another trend line right there so i go to a lower another a lower time frame like the daily time frame on getting to the lower uh, daily time frame what do we will find another key level and there's another one very visible right here on the daily time frame so we can see that the market is you know there's a key level at this point let me just duplicate this line and place it somewhere here we can see there's a key level at this point. Let me change this color as usual. Maybe something like blue. There's a key level at this point. So you can see the market bots are around this point. Let me just zoom out. I think it will make it a little better. Market bot at that point. And um moment guys. Let me just make it a little better. Okay. Okay, so you can see market bought actually. Market actually bought at this level here. You can see the buys here. It sells buys here. Market even consolidated around here. That's on the daily time frame. You can see market has been buying around this level actually. So that's a key level on the daily time frame. That is the key level on the daily time frame. I think we may have another one still close to the current price. Let's continue looking. Let's continue checking. The current price is here and the another key level. I can't find another key level immediately. Can't find another key level immediately. Okay, I think there's a key level here. There's a key level here. Let me duplicate this and put right here. This particular key level I'm putting now will be more visible on the four hourly time frame. Then, then you will know why I put it there in case you do not understand. But um, this is just the reason. Let me explain it. Market actually sold from here, but from here. You can see market sold from here. And market also sold from, sorry, bought from here, sold, sold and also bought. So that was that's what qualifies it as a key level. I can adjust it little bit you know then that would be better all right that would be better 
All right, so I go down to I go down to the daily time to the four hourly time frame. Mind you, we are concentrating on the current structure. While I was actually um, considering the far left to mark out these scale levels because market has been buying seriously on this other side, the this uh, current side of the market. So, and there was no structures to or levels to mark out easily here. So I have to go to that to the left hand side to find them. All right. So now I'll go to the four hourly time frame. You can see on the four hourly time frame we cannot find any level to mark right here at this point here except we go to the far left except we go to the far left because we don't want to mark any level around this downside we don't want to mark any level around this um, downside is too far from the current price based on our trading uh, trading strategy is too far from our, from the current price so we look for something within this area like this so we can only find them if we go to the far left to check so in that case we have to zoom out then see what happened there if we can find the key level guys let's see if we can find the key level on the far left okay okay so you can see that the market actually sold from here and also bought from here so this is a key level on the four hourly time frame this is a key level on the four hourly time frame so i can easily put a line right here at this point then i will change the color of this line to something else i can easily identify i think black color is okay so that's a key level there that's a key level there and um where is the current price I think it's close to where we have the current price. All right. So, yeah, it's close to where we have the current price. Okay. So now you can see that market actually got to this key level here on the four hourly time frame. You can see market got to this um, key level, then it reversed, came down, then still went back up there. Again, you can see plenty rejection weeks, plenty rejection weeks. So it finally bought massively to this key level and it might still sell back. But meanwhile, we do not base our strategy based on the four hourly, on the four hourly time frame. We need to go down to our actual entry time frame, which is the 15 minutes. Meanwhile, we still have to consider the direction of the market and the the levels and trends trend lines we can possibly have. So let's go down to the one hourly time frame. And besides, you know, as it is now, if we want to join a trend line, it's going to be a very long one. And it's not nice to even join any trend line at this point. It doesn't make any sense to draw a trend line based on my strategy at this point. So what I would do is to go to the one hourly time frame. We look for something that gives us an idea or something close to what the price can do uh, considering the current market structure. So now on this one hourly time frame, I can see an opportunity here. You can see that the market was actually buying impulsively from here. Then it got to this level, retested this key level then broke through, retested it again, then bought, still impulsively. I'm getting here, you see when it started giving all these corrections to the key level. I'm getting to this key level here. You see what the market did? I'm getting to this key level, the market started reversing. So I can easily put a trend line right here. You can easily put a trend line right here to wait for a breakout you see if you go to the four early time frame you won't see where to put a trend line but as you come to the four early time frame, the one early time frame you can see there's an opportunity or a place where you can um, place your trend line then you can duplicate this trend line to see if it gives you any kind of a pattern see if it gives you a kind of a pattern in the market you can see then with this since the market has broken out as we know the market has to come back to where it was selling previously you see after breaking out it has to sell down come back to where it was selling previously before it sold back down again and your target will be this level so if we can go down to the uh, 15 minutes time frame you will see this more clearly on the 15 minutes time frame if you come down here 
you can see market broke out of this trend line market broke out of this trend line and sold up to this level then came back to retest this level that it had been previously buying or it had previously sold from so we can easily mark out this level like this because that this level now has become a kind of a key level here in the market why do i say so on the 15 minutes time frame market sold from here bought from here and also sold again from here and on market getting back to this level you see it still sold back down to this level so this has become um, kind of a key, key level on the 15 minutes time frame and based on our strategy if you were lucky enough to be online or on the chart to see this opportunity, then you can scalp the market. You will make some good money even to target this part if you're not targeting this low because based on our strategy, this is the low to target. The first swing, the nearest swing low, which is this one, is what you target. Just imagine you were lucky to be online to see that happening. Then you enter your trade. Normally, if I was to enter this trade, I would want to enter the trade after I see this, then I see this bearish engulfing candlestick pattern. I will not be, I will not easily enter the market at that time because I will be scared of this particular level here. Only that this has played out already, so it will look as if I'm just explaining what has happened. But I wouldn't want to enter the market because of this particular level here. There's a level here. You can see market bought from market bought from here, also bought again from here, and also sold from here. So if you want to sell, then you need to consider. I think in my sec the last video I posted on this channel, I mentioned that when you want to trade, most times you may not notice that there's a support or resistance a level or zone just above you. If you want to buy, you might think you've broken out of a trend line and it has retested. So it's supposed to buy. Not knowing that there's a support just right before you or there's a support or sorry, a resistance right just, ab uh, right, uh, just above you or there's a support just below you. Or there's a trend line or there's a trend line above or below so you need to take note of those things as you can see market has been buying this another a little key level somewhere here market sold from here with market sold from here and also bought you can see bought. so each time market got to this place there's always a reaction so because of that i wouldn't have entered the market to sell because of this particular level here until if the market goes back to retest and comes back and breaks through this level and closes below like what has happened here then i would want to enter the market at this point it is now a bit safer to enter if you can enter from this point then you target this particular low you still make some good money you still make some good money just imagine you enter at this point the close of this particular candlestick then you target this low only this low this point here this is about hundred dollars with the losses of 4.0 so okay let's say you're not using a lot size of 4.0 let's say you're using a lot size of um two maybe you have a small account you want to use a lot size of 2.0 guys 2.0 and you enter the market at this point and you target this particular low here that's about 49 to 50 dollars and you're out of the market you see let's say you hold you were able to hold the trade up to this level guys this is about a hundred dollars and you're out of the market you make some good money because the market would most want most likely target this particular low where it's reversed from to retest the key level the market will mostly always want to get to that particular low or high depending on the direction of the market so since then you can see that this particular level here has become a strong key level market has been reacting on getting to it market has been reacting on getting to it same goes to this particular level here too this particular level here too you can see market has been reacting on getting to it after market broke broke uh, market sold to this place it came back to retest this level you can see came back to this level and started giving signs of sales and it continued selling so market came back here again and it reacted to this uh, level here and you see it sold down went back up again came hit a sold down you see until this time around when it came it couldn't break through but it only gave uh this um they call it a drop base rally pattern here and it bought to the upside you can see it bought to the upside in fact you can see that after market retested this zone here after market retest um, um bought to the upside and gave this kind of pattern here 
and so down to this same level where it has been buying previously you can see it bought again with some massive spikes to the upside and even broke to this key level so we are still expecting the market to continue buying for breaking above this particular key level the market is expected to continue buying and one one thing i want you guys to also understand is this once the market breaks out of a trend line the direction of know that the direction is changing or has changed then in that case you look for ways to place your trend lines according to the new direction of the market what i mean there is this like what we have here you can see that after the market broke out of this particular trend line and broke below this low the market changed its course to a kind of a bearish movement it was uh, it was supposed to be uh, it was previously a bullish movement but on breaking down breaking this trend line and going below this swing low changed the direction of the market to um, bearish movement but this bearish movement was not long lived why see what happened you cannot you can also see here that this the market was giving a kind of a trend at this point market was giving a kind of a trend at this point and this trend was also broken this trend at this point was also broken so on breaking out of this trend it came back to retest with this level that's why it came it came back to retest this level and so the market couldn't continue uh in its bearish move again so the market could not continue going bearish so it, it became bullish so that's why the market did not go below this particular low again you can see it kept on buying so with this noticing this you can easily wait for some movement in the market and try to place your trend line so you can grab some opportunity to catch spikes at, at this point you can see if we put the trend line here you see how it plays out because the direction has changed so if you can be always putting trend lines each time the market breaks out of uh, a trend each time you notice a breakout you you try to place your trend line and get at least two points it will give you more it will you will be in the direction in the market of the market and you can easily get opportunities to trade in the right direction you can always get opportunities to trade in the right direction and here now you can see this here you can see the opportunity here also let me try to do this so you can see here how market has been reacting to this place because of the change in direction that happened because the change in direction that happened at this particular point there's a change in direction here breakout came back to retest this level you can see it bought up to this place reversed and it's also respecting this particular key level here so guys this thing is very important for us to understand like now like what i explained previously that if do not think the market has broken out of this um key level and has retested it's supposed to go up for us to confirm that this market will continue going up we want to see a retest on this particular key level here and the trend line because if anything happens below this particular key level or this particular trend line here then the market might possibly sell to the downside if this bullish candlestick here does not close above does not close above here then there is a chance that it's going to sell back and be targeting this particular low here and it will be targeting this particular i'm um, sorry trend line here so that is just it is very simple thing to do guys all you need to do is once you open your chart you go to a higher time frame as you get to a higher time frame you mark out your key levels key resistance and key support zones most times you need to zoom out of the market zoom out completely it might give you a better view of the market on where to place your key levels and most times you need to zoom out to see them most times so all these things requires practice mark out your key levels put your trend lines where necessary and as you continue doing that you master it it's a matter of practice they say practice makes perfect you cannot just think you know these things when uh, you will know just like that without practicing them you know that is it guys as simple as abc all right so we have this knowledge see scalping the market for a long time is is, is is a skill you can do that it doesn't matter uh all you need to do is start to start analyzing the market from a higher time frame 
If you have market, if you analyze the market from a higher time frame, it gives you an idea. Like now, you can scalp the market from here to target this low if you already had an idea where the market was going to. So from a higher time frame, you have an idea where the market is actually going to. I think I need to do another video um, on that in that regard so that you help to also help you to know where the market is heading to, and you can know where to enter your trade and when to step out of the market. That is it, guys. Alright, so there is a link in the description of this video where you will join our Telegram channel where I post updates about events and most times, once in a while, I do post some high probability setups in, in their channel. So you can also join there if you want to be a part of us, you know. So you can get updates on when I'll be hosting some events like last week, last Thursday, which was 22nd of February, we did our... Um, I did a free training. It was a free webinar, and everybody uh, that were available, they I believe they were they got some massive value from the live training that I did that day. So some of the most times I post the information there, and also if you need a mentorship, a private one-on-one -on -one mentorship, guys, do not hesitate to contact me through the link in that. Follow when you follow the link in the description of this video, and you get to the Telegram channel, you will find my direct contact there. I don't want to post it here. On the telegram on this youtube channel to avoid um anybody getting scammed by those who may want to come and comment and then um, to scam people all right so until you get to the telegram channel then you will see my direct contact where you contact me guys and also um the mentorship the one week mentorship training had already begun so it has been closed no more we don't need any payment again nobody should join again until if at all that kind of Opportunity shall open. I mean, for the ten dollars one week mentorship, we have it. It's already been admit more people again. All right. So maybe except you need a private mentorship, guys. Then you can contact me. Then I will arrange a mentorship for you. But for that, I'll charge nothing less than fifty dollars for now. If you have fifty dollars, contact me. Else, just forget about it for now. All right, guys. So please like this video, share it just give us your comment your own opinions then we'll see how to improve and um, do everything better to help us make some good money this year guys so till my next video peace out